Hey, what's going on YouTube? So it's Nathan back here with another one. So if you're still having trouble with buffering, I got a number of tips to show you and supply for you today. So if you missed the first video, definitely check out the link down in the description below. So let's go and jump into this video. So the first step that we're going to go ahead and start with. So the number one step on the Amazon Fire Stick is always going to be restart your Amazon Fire Stick. So I mentioned this step in the last video. All you have to do is click the center button for select and click your play button and hold it down for five seconds. And that's going to restart your Amazon Fire Stick and that should definitely improve the speed. So if for any reason you're still experiencing buffering after you restart your device, let's move on to step number two. Step number two is you're gonna need an app that force closes apps on the Amazon Fire Stick. So I added Death Squid to my quick tiles here. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up so I can show you how simple it is to find the apps that are running in the background and force close them. So in Death Squid, they have a feature called Manage Apps. And in this feature, it tells us with the long list of which items need to be forced stopped. And as you can see, I have a number of apps that are running in the background. A lot of them are streaming apps. So we got Cinema in the background, FUBU, Airscreen, Netflix, all of these are running in the background. And what they're doing is taking up my internet connection and spreading it evenly between all of these apps. So if I wanna dedicate all of my internet speed to one app, Let's go ahead and start force closing these apps. You just click on force close. It brings up the settings within applications. You go down, click on force stop. You click your back button one time. The item has stopped. It then changes from force close to stopped. And you wanna go ahead and click on all of these and click on force stop, all of the ones that are running in the background and that will improve your speed tremendously. So if you're looking for Death Squid, go to the right hand side. Let's go to find go down to search, click on search, and in here just type in Def Squid. I already have this app installed. You find that search result, you find that icon that says Def Squid under apps and games. You click on it and then you download it to your device and you'll be all set. So if you're still experiencing buffering after those first two steps, let's go ahead and head to number three. Number three is going to be reduce the video quality on your Amazon Fire Stick. It's pretty straightforward. For the Amazon Fire Stick itself, they do have a feature where you can adjust the quality from 4K to 1080p down to 720p. Let me show you how to do that. So we go over to the settings on the right hand side, go to settings, hover down, and you're gonna look for preferences. Click on preferences. In here, there's a feature called data monitoring click on data monitoring and then go down to set video quality. I set it purposely to good for this video so I can show you, but normally I'll run mine on best, which is 4K content all the way up to 1080p. If you're still experiencing buffering on 4K 1080p quality, just click on set video quality and go down to good. Good is gonna make sure that it's streaming at a much lower quality that you can still watch your content, but it's at a reduced quality. But that is a recommended option if you're experiencing buffering and you're willing to sacrifice a little bit of quality. So that feature only changes the quality for apps such as like Prime Video. Unfortunately, so if you use like apps like Netflix or like Cinema, Cinema would be easy. So that's a third party app that delivers movies and TV shows. If you're using Cinema, it'd be simple. You just go down and select a different source below or than 1080p or 720. But for apps like Netflix, you can only change the quality of the video through the browser through the online website you'd have to go to netflix.com and then in the right hand corner you can adjust those settings to different qualities but apps like imdb tv tubi all of these free apps that i have showed you so these options here tubi pluto plex eczema but within these apps i did not find a feature to lower the content quality to reduce the buffering. But for Netflix, Hulu, YouTube TV, those types of items, YouTube TV, you can change it within the app. YouTube, you can change the quality of the video through the app. Netflix, you can only change it through the browser. So when it comes to reducing the quality, that's gonna be the most complex because you do have a little bit of control, but a lot of the control is gonna be depending on any individual app that you use to stream your content.
Just let me know down in the comment section below which apps you're using and I'll let you know a quick tip on how to adjust those settings for yourself. All right, so if you've tested all three of those steps and nothing has worked and you're still experiencing buffering, so let's move on to step number four. Step number four is going to be download the content. A lot of the streaming apps supply an option to where you can download the movie or TV show that you're trying to stream. You can download it beforehand and then when you're ready to watch it, you can stream it without experiencing any buffering because you've already downloaded the entire show or movie. So unfortunately with free services like Pluto, Tubi, Eximo, all of those free apps, they don't supply that feature because it's free. So they don't supply any offline options, but for premium content, but HBO Max, Hulu, Netflix, a bunch of these premium services, they do supply that free option where you can download these movies and TV shows and stream them later. So definitely keep that in mind. All right. so. After those four steps, you're still experiencing buffering. Let's move on to step five. Let's go over to the settings button. Let's go to settings and go down to network. I just wanna show you something really quick. So in here, if you click the play button on top of the Wi-Fi network that you're connected to, you will see here connection status of the Wi-Fi that you're connected to. And then the gigahertz will either say five or it'll say 2.4. So mine's is five gigahertz and this is what you want to be connected to if for any reason you're experiencing buffering so 2.4 gigahertz works farther away but slower speeds of connection and 5 gigahertz works at a closer distance but stronger speeds and connection so definitely keep that in mind as an option if you have the option to connect to 5 gigahertz i highly recommend you connect to 5 gigahertz so with that said let's go ahead and move on to step number six if you're still experiencing buffering and you want to know if there's any more additional steps that you can try so you can definitely try this let's go to the home section on the fire stick remote we want to go to the find section we want to go down to search and then we want to go ahead and type in speed test so we want to type in speed. Once we type in speed, we want to go down to the search result that says speed test. Go ahead and click on speed test. So once you do click on speed test, you'll see the options under here under apps and games. On the right hand side, you will see an app called speed test Wi-Fi analyzer analyti and you want to click on that and you want to download that app. I already have it installed, so I'm going to go and load it up so I can show you what it looks like inside. So right away, once you open it up, it tells you your internet connection. As you can see, mine is above 300 megabits per second, but I do wanna let you know, it does tell you what you can stream and what you can't. So I'm green check marks all the way across from 1080p at full definition, all the way up to 8K video. And that's because my connection speed is so high. The default to Netflix and all these other streaming platforms are 25 megabits per second. As long as you have something above 25 megabits per second, you should be able to stream 1080p quality, 4K quality, and be fine without any buffering. So if your speeds are good, you're getting good speeds, and you're still experiencing buffering, it could be your hardware, maybe time to upgrade. So if your speeds are low, you know that's a main culprit, and anything that we tried to do previously is going to defeat the purpose because your speeds are not delivering the type of speed you need for the quality that you want to stream. All right, so lastly, within this app is a cool feature. If we go down here on the left hand side, it says network devices. All right, so that leads us to step number seven. So if you're still experiencing buffering, you went through all six of those steps, which brought us to seven steps. It, your culprit may be a device on your network hogging all of the internet connection alone. So let's say you got somebody gaming on your network during the times that you're trying to stream a TV show or a movie, or just multiple devices in your household all streaming at the same time. You wanna keep that in mind because if everybody's streaming or if you got somebody playing on Xbox Live or PlayStation Live, that connection is being hogged up by that one individual. And definitely check the devices on your network. This gives a quick view of what devices are connected to your network. It's pretty straightforward, you just look at the list. But if you wanted to kick some of these devices off your network, you would have to look at your routers manual and you would have to connect into it and delete some of these devices off of your network if you wanted to go that route. But other than that, just make sure you're streaming content when other devices are not demanding more of the internet connection than your device. So these are all the tips that I got for this video. Once again, if you missed the first video, definitely check out the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.